Hey guys, so iOS 17 developer beta 3 has been out for a couple of days now and as per usual, I like to come back and share with you guys any additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the software for a couple of days. So in this video, I wanted to share some additional new features and changes that I've noticed. I continue to find different things within the operating system that are small but very useful and I wanted to share those with you guys. I also want to talk about the expected release date for the next beta and I also want to answer a question that you guys continue to ask and that that is, is iOS 17 okay to install on my main device? Now that iOS 17 developer beta 3 and public beta 1 is out, you guys wanted to know. I wanted to share my thoughts on that. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is some additional changes and features that I've noticed after using beta 3 for a couple of days. As I mentioned, as I continue using iOS 17, there are small changes within the operating system that are very useful. For example, Spotlight is a big one this year. So for example, if you type in a clock, the word clock here you get several options what I like to call quick actions for example you have the ability to now tap into this add an alarm option here and you can set an alarm directly from a spotlight same thing works when you type in settings when you type in notes you can type a quick note or settings you can turn off airplane mode on or off and things like that Wi-Fi on or off it's a really useful shortcut within the spotlight so if you're just looking for something you just type it in and then you can do a quick action using spotlight which I really really like now something else I've noticed after using iOS 17 developer beta 3 is that signing into an Apple device running iOS 17 for the first time, the animations are different. So I have this iPhone 13 Pro Max right here and it's not signed into my Apple account. So I'm gonna go ahead, I can use here the sign in manually or I can use another device. If I click another device, of course the iPhone that's already signed in will get the option here and I can click to continue. It's gonna ask for face ID. Once I authenticate here, it's gonna ask me to scan this iPhone right here. So as per usual, I'm gonna go ahead and scan the iPhone here and it will continue signing in this device right here of course I have to enter my Apple ID password but the animations are a little different let me go ahead and show you that and there it is once I enter my Apple ID password you see the new animation it looks really nice actually I really like what Apple is doing here when you first sign in to an Apple device using iOS 17 it looks really really cool I just wanted to share that one with you guys so now I want to quickly talk about expected release dates for beta 4 and then we'll talk about the battery and the performance so if history is any indication the iOS 17 developer beta 4 will most likely be available on Monday, July the 24th or Tuesday the 25th. So just keep in mind that no one really knows when Apple will be releasing iOS software updates, but previous history is any indication the 24th or the 25th will be the release date for iOS 17 and developer beta 4 and a public beta 2. Now other minor things I've noticed within the photos application, for example, if we go into the live photos categories right here, so we go into live photos tap into a live photo you can now actually tap right here on the timeline right there and choose and see the actual live photo very similar to what Apple has done with video because on video you can actually tap and scrub just like so but now you can do that with live photos as well and I've noticed that within recents deleted so if we go to recently deleted here if you go to delete a video or a photo with a person you get an option here to feature this person less and of course the menu to delete and recover is actually different here as well those are some minor things I've noticed within the photos after using the app for a couple of days in beta 3. Now one thing that I do want to mention is battery life because a lot of you guys continue to ask in regards to the battery life on the iPhone. Now I do have to say that iPhone like the iPhone 11 are actually performing very very well. I did a battery test in comparison to iOS 15 to iOS 16.6 versus iOS 17 and the iPhone 11 actually performed very very well in terms of battery performance on the latest iOS 17 I just wanted to note that also on the iPhone 14 Pro Max which is the one that I'm using every single day this iPhone gets me through most of my day I do have to plug in I want to say about three four o'clock in the afternoon I'm a heavy user of course so I use my iPhone a lot but it does get me through most of my day although I don't get through my entire day I get through most of my day on one single charge but that is the iPhone iPhone 14 Pro Max keep that in mind this is the bigger iPhone with the bigger battery so if you have an iPhone 14 an iPhone 13 I would actually say hold off before you install iOS 17 I don't think the battery is there just yet I think it still needs some work but it is getting better over time so overall iOS 17 developer beta 3 is definitely on the right path is it ready not really I wouldn't recommend installing this on your primary device there's still minor bugs with the keyboard there's minor freezing some apps continue to freeze and things like that so just hold on iOS 17 will continue to get better hopefully over time things are looking good from here on out after beta 3 the 
re-release, things seem a lot better in regards to battery performance and everything else, but it's still not ready. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.